So, so this is the the relationship that I have. Like, I, I mean, we go way back. I know a lot of people, and you know what I'm saying. So he's helped a lot of people. He's helped Alex here. So that so it's a. I think in life everything happens for a reason. All of a sudden, Alex goes and works at SMB, and he runs at him. I'm like, holy crap! <laughs> it, it's like a small, small world, right? And so he was nice enough. We, we, we've been asking Dr. Brett to come to these meetups a lot, but he's been too busy. So he chose. So I thank Dr. Yeah, for coming here. Yeah. Well, thank you. So I'm going I'm I'm to let him have the floor now or the, the chair, the bar. I'm going to let him have the bar. Okay. <laughs> I don't you know. Yeah. Stay, stay close because we're. Yeah, we got a problem here. So I'm going to take this. this I, I have to stay I, I, connected I to him. Than, uh, so I've been walking around connected to this person that says, the man. <laughs> and I'm on this leash following the man. Hey, my reputation's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, this is the secondary mic. Do you want to get on here? You want to sit on there? So I'll, I'll just step up here, yeah. Uh, I use this as a stepping mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're oh, good. Shit. Okay. I don't know my insurance to cover this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, here. I'm going to have you hold this. This is the... Cool. What's that? All right. Here, put your... Here, here, Doc. I'm good. You sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm not going to topple over. I'm not going to topple over. You signed a waiver first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the elderly have this uh, imbalance problem, you know, like keel right over. No, thank you for inviting me, Alex Bao. All of you, thank you for inviting me. Speed Trader, I really appreciate it. I'll just make a, a few general comments. I've been talking with people. Uh, they've had great, great questions. Let me just toss out a couple of the topics that have come up so that everyone can hear about those. Uh, first is to build on Bao's comment. You know, in terms of the connection to family, uh, to get away from your own head. I'm writing a book right now on the topic of spirituality and trading. Now, that's kind of a weird topic. No one's written about that topic. What, what does spirituality have to do with trade? Trade is about making money. You know, what, what does spirituality have to do with But the major problems that we have in trading, it's not because people have psychological disorders it's because the ego gets in the way, right? We get so caught up in our little self that we lose our bigger self. We get caught up in the P&L. We get caught up, you know, some of us, you know, the ego gets so big, we go around with these signs on our chest saying, the man. <laughs> how, how, how big is that ego? <laughs> I didn't write it. I didn't write it. No, you didn't write it. I didn't write it. That's what my handwriting. <laughs> what well, used to say? No, the, that's a Chinese name, Damon. The Damon. Oh, right, right, okay. What? <laughs> what well, well, used to say? The main man, and now he's more modest. Yeah. He's just, just the man. No, seriously though. Seriously, seriously, seriously. <laughs> you know, our egos get in the way. Our P&L starts to dictate how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about our lives. We need to be connected to something larger than the day-to-day P&L. And that could be your family. That could be your community. You could have other purposes and values in life. You could be connected to a higher power. You know, when you're connected to something bigger, something that's meaningful to you, and you lose money on a particular day, big effing deal. You're grounded in your marriage. You're grounded in your family. You're grounded in your community. You have goals. You have purposes in life. You're connected to a higher power. And so it puts everything into perspective. And so much of problems in trading psychology is not having that perspective. Okay, one other question that uh, came up a lot. Uh, some people here are contemplating giving up their jobs and trading full-time. And the question is, when do you know to do that? And the answer is when you've had a lot of drinks. <laughs> 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 no, just kidding. Okay, but 
what I'm emphasizing is you have to have a business plan. When you start trading, you're setting up a business. You have to be adequately capitalized. You can't start with a few thousand dollar account and hope that you're going to make a living from that. You, you have to assume that there are going to be periods of time where you don't make money. And so you have to have a cash cushion for you, especially for your families, you know, if you've got families. So you need to have enough runway, enough cushion to survive your learning curve. The way to win the game is to be able to stay in the game. And so many people just can't stay through their learning curves. And even in prop firms, and uh, you know, Alex could speak to this, even in prop firms, developing traders, that runway to becoming consistently profitable is easily 18 months, 24 months and out. Easily, easily, easily. And think about any field. If you're trying to be a professional golfer and you're trying to make your living on a PGA Tour, if you're thinking about becoming a Broadway actor or actress, it's going to take you how many years of practice? You want to go to the Olympics. How many years of practice? Same thing with trading. You don't just set up an account with E-Trade and in six months you're going to be... No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way in any field. You have to have a plan for your development. So the baby commercial was no? The the baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Um, so as I mentioned in one of my blog posts, you know, so what, MIC, why isn't it my investment club? I have a Forbes article that I just wrote on the difference between being an imitator and an initiator. If you want to follow a guru, what you're going to get out of that at best is being an imitator. When you learn from a genuine mentor, you learn to uh, be an initiator. You learn to initiate your own ideas and profit from those. So it's not my investment club. If Bauer Alex were to tell you, go trade this, this way, this time, go long here, go short here. If that's all they did, they're giving you trades. They're giving you investments. They're, you know, you're, the, the, you're the hungry person and they're giving you a fish. And you get to be an imitator. But if they're teaching you the methods, if they're, te they're teaching you how to look at markets, how to respond to stocks, and how to, how to make decisions, then they're not giving you the fish. They're teaching you how to fish and giving you the chance to be an initiator rather than an imitator. And that's why it's my investing club. Investing is a process. It's not investment club. They're not just giving you an idea. You're learning a process. Love it. Exactly. You read my mind. That's exactly when we started. It seems so, because there was like my investment club. Usually that's what it sounds like. Right, so right. So I purposely did that for that reason. Because it, and can you talk about the tab? I think that you hit that on too. Yeah, the tab. So that was what I wrote the uh, blog post on, the trading accountability buddy. Okay? Why is that important? I teach in a medical school in Syracuse, New York. I teach people to become doctors. I know that's a scary thought. <laughs> this guy, this guy's sitting on the fucking bar. He's, he teaches doctors. I don't want to go see those people. Uh, anyway, but there's a saying in medical school: each one teach one. The senior medical students are teaching the junior medical students. The the uh, the interns are teaching the senior medical students, the senior residents are teaching the interns, the attending physicians are teaching the senior residents. Everyone is teaching everyone else. And that speeds up everyone's learning curve. So when you get a trading accountability buddy, each one teach one, you are the teacher, you are the learner, 
they go through a learning curve, you go through a learning curve, by sharing that learning curve, it doubles and triples your learning. It accelerates your growth so that you can be profitable that much quicker. And so the buddy system is key. And here's a platform where you can connect with the right people and each one teach one. And, and I, Absolutely. And I feel that it's like, it's also like, if you need someone that's not in your trade to just snap you out of your, like, I call it like a prison. So I'm stuck in my thing. All I see is that one thing. And so the, so like Alex is mine. So he's like, hey, Val, what are you doing? He can think clearly. You just, like, you just need a second guy who's a cap. That now is like, hey, man, if, like when Alex doesn't talk to me, I know like, Something's wrong. <laughs> he goes quiet, and he knows that he's he's fucking up, right? But he's like ashamed. He didn't want to tell me. So, so even though he'll still do it, <laughs> he'll. But now in the back of his head, he'll do it maybe less, or the next time he won't do it again. What well, one last thought about uh, training accountability, buddy? I mentioned it to a few people back in the corner over here. Uh, you'll you'll notice a, a beautiful woman sitting. She and I will be, you better stop hitting on her too. <laughs> Man, all you young guys, I'm getting pretty insecure. <clears throat> but <clears throat> in February, <clears throat> we will be married 35 years. Oh. That's legit. That's legit. That's legit. That's your dating accountability book. <laughs> that, that, that's my point. That is my point. That is my ultimate trading accountability buddy. Because she's been through the ups and downs with me. Having that kind of support in your personal life, someone who understands you, understands what you do, that is the ultimate buddy. Yeah, but you also talk about the loneliness. That's the thing. Like in the training, you're by yourself. So having another person to talk through your ups and downs, now you don't have to carry around, let's say, the man image. You know, that, that's what I feel like. Now I can vent to someone and let it out versus having to like carry it. I mean, I, I feel that, that helps me a lot. You know? a absolutely. Absolutely. So let's think about other performance fields. Like I was mentioning, you, know, you want to go on the golf tour, you want, you want to become a professional golfer, you want to become a professional actor or actress, a professional chess player. How many people become professionals in their domain, in a performance domain, doing it at home by themselves alone? I'm going to be an Olympic champion, so I'm going to practice at home. No coach, no mentor, no people to learn with and from. That does not happen. Look at any performance area and you learn from mentoring, you learn from others, you don't learn from being isolated and just doing it on your own. To your point, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate getting together. Yep, my blog is called Trader Feed, traderfeed.blogspot.com. My email address is on the blog. You can uh, shoot me questions that you might have, rude comments, <laughs> whatever. But uh, I wish you well in your development, and I think it's great that you're connecting with people and advancing yourself personally, advancing yourself in your trading. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.